This is a demonstration of a pump package that is being controlled by a monitoring product called Control by Web. So this is a little demonstration of what the capability of a Control by Web device can do. This is a high pressure pump package that has some controls in it. And there are the controls. We've got power supply. We've got the Control by Web uh, controller, relay switches, circuit breakers. Now I do keep this covered because I don't want it to get wet by its, if something happens, but that's the controls. But over here we have a um, bridge or an access point, but it's actually a wireless bridge. And this wireless bridge goes back to a cellular modem by Verizon, and the cellular modem is a cradle point. So this wireless bridge is going back to another wireless bridge, which is in my office. I'm in my shop right now. And then that wireless bridge, uh, or that uh, cellular modem, is out on the internet where this iPad here is actually uh, connected to my shop Comcast network. So what I'm doing here is actually going from my Comcast wireless, my wireless shop router, into Comcast, out into the internet, back into the cellular cradle point modem, which is Wi-Fi back to this guy to control this pump. So we're actually going out on the internet, coming back through a cellular modem, back into this control panel. And it is functioning right now. If we were to hit this uh, right here, we've got pump package one, pump package two, just to give you an idea. Right now we're on pump package one. If I hit that, it's going to bring up the, the pump package control panel, or the, the pump package controller, the control by web controller. Takes a little while because we are going out over the internet, coming back through the internet, and coming back into this bridge here, back to this display. We're actually going out here, going out here, out to the internet, coming back to this display. Should come up, here it comes. So, this is control of this product over the internet and uh, there's a lot of different setups you can do with that controller. If we go right to the control page at views, what we've set this controller up to do, we can turn on and start and stop this pump, again, wirelessly through the internet. So right now you can see that uh, it's off if I push this on button here. Gotta hit it right. There it comes on. And you can see that the uh, Pump pressure is up to 450 PSI, and actually, I got a little pressure gauge here uh, that's coming into it, and that's what it's saying, 447 PSI, off of this uh, pressure transducer right here. So again, going out into the internet, coming back to my iPad, and then we can shut it back off again. And the other thing that's it, nice about the control by web, the one that I'm using here, the X320, is that it has events and through events you can do a lot of elaborate starting and stopping so if we take a look at events here we can have uh, set up a lot of different events there's 49 different events we have one set up here and it's the sump pipes it's a cycle the pump on and off if I take a look at that event right now we're set to run the pump uh, for 6.5 seconds on a pulse every 1800 seconds. Well, let's change this down to uh, 30 seconds. I'm looking at this upside down. And we'll update that. Done. Now, if everything's set up right, this uh, unit should run every 30 seconds it'll come on and it'll come off uh, for 6.5 seconds there it is right there so it'll run for 6.5 seconds shut back off uh, now it it isn't um, off for 30 seconds it's off between the distance or between the time of 6.5 and 30 so it is off for 30, uh, 23.5 seconds. And there it comes on again. So, nice thing that you can do uh, a bunch of event cycling. You can even use these uh, events to actually reinitiate different events so you can change the timing automatically. So, that's a quick overview of this particular pump package and how it works wirelessly. Um, this pump is designed uh, for uh, a quarter gallon a minute 
at um, at 500 psi. It's actually just a little bit under that, so it'll do 15, 20 medium-sized nozzles. Um, but it is set up. Uh, this pump is actually set up to uh, feed it uh, through a gravity feed. Right now, we don't have a gravity system. We actually have city water coming into it. But uh, this line here with this valve is that's actually supposed to go down into the supply line. So when it does shut off, um, the high pressure liquid that, that's still in the line will kind of quickly backfeed into the reservoir where you won't lose any, any, any fluid in the uh, gravity feed system. So that's it. Utilizes uh, you know one solenoid for the dump valve, and uh, and it does have a pressure sensor to make sure it's working. Has the uh, pressure regulator here that sets it for the pressure of 100 and uh, or 450 psi. That's all I'm going to show you for now. Thank you very much.